So Bill, we're a few days away from the start of the new fall TV season. Uh, the kickoff is Monday and there'll be a couple dozen new shows vying for our attention. What do you think the storylines are going to be going into the fall? Well, I think the big question is how dominant is Fox going to be? They have su such a strong lineup. For ABC, it's going to be can they restore themselves when some of their old shows are fading? For NBC, can they find any momentum at all? And for CBS, you know, they've been very stable, but can their crime lineup and their comedy lineup still work? And you mentioned Fox right off the bat. They're taking these two big swings, it seems like. X Factor, the new singing competition from Simon Cowell. I walked away from the number one show in America to launch a brand new show. And Terra Nova, this dinosaur drama. Both of these are really expensive, right? Well, the, the X Factor ha is expensive because of its talent, but the, <laughs> the Terra Nova show is an incredibly expensive show with all kinds of special effects, and they got a lot of money on the table on that show. If it doesn't work, it will be highly costly. Mm -hmm. They also have a very strong comedy called The New Girl with Zoe Deschanel, who's a big star. I'm kind of emotional right now because of the breakup. I'll probably be watching Dirty Dancing at least six or seven times. A day. It seems that there's a lot of comedies on the schedule this year, maybe more so than, than last comedy year. Comedy is very, very big. I think you're going to see a lot of effort to restore comedy because economically it's really sound. They can keep selling it. I love a new show on ABC called Suburgatory. Welcome to Suburgatory. Which I think is a sleeper of the year and I think will get a lot of attention. And there's two shows on CBS that apparently tested really well, right? Uh, this sitcom Two Broke Girls. Yeah, I think that's a potential hit. It's very well scheduled. It's on Monday night at 8.30 very promising show and then they have a show called Person of Interest which is another of their crime shows but it's from J.J. Abrams has a little spin on it. The guy that did Lost. Exactly. Bad things happen to people every day. You can't stop them. What if you could? It seems like uh, every year there's one or two dramas like that, that that are almost guaranteed or destined to succeed and maybe Person of Interest is that show. Yeah but Person year. of Interest is in very tough schedule there against the X Factor. Everything against the X Factor looks like a question mark because that thing can be overpowering. So basically this fall it's Simon Cowell and then everybody else. I think that's the big story Line and I think he probably will do very well. I have got no idea what's going to happen, and I think you just got to enjoy the ride.